News coming in from Pakistan where the Army Chief General Asim Munir has been briefed about the situation in Pakistan in a core commander's conference on security. Now this briefing took place at the general headquarters in Rawalpindi. The core commanders briefed the Army Chief about the latest situation in their respective areas of responsibility, both internal threat and external situation, especially after Imran Khan supporters went on a rampage across the country on the 9th of May. The army is very worried. The information that's filtering out of this core commander's conference that the army has expressed concerns about alleged foreign funding of the anti-establishment and anti-army anti propaganda that is taking place in Pakistan. In this meeting, it has also been decided that all the rioters the arsonists, the looters responsible for the attacks on military installations will not only be arrested, but they will be tried under anti-terror laws of Pakistan. But in some instances where the core commander's residence, for example, when that was set on fire, or GHQ, General Headquarters in Rawalpindi, or the ISI Headquarters at Aappara, or the Punjab Regimental Center or the Pakistan Air Force Base, one at Miawali, the other at Mardan. Cases are also expected to be registered under the Pakistan Army Act. It's a very serious situation in Pakistan and I quickly want to cut across to Islamabad and bring in India today's Hamza Amir for more on this story. Hamza, bring us the latest. What, have, what all have you been able to gather from this core commander's meeting and the decision taken? Well, Gaurav, a day before the uh, high-level National Security Committee meeting has been called in by the government. Tomorrow, the uh, Army's uh, Corps Commanders Conference was held. A very brief security uh, briefing was given to the Army Chief. And after that, uh, con it was concluded that there will be zero tolerance shown to the people who tried to or went into uh, on an assault on Army installations and uh, state institutions. Uh, they said that they showed restraint earlier, but now there will be no uh, restraint shown as, as such. They will be responded to accordingly. Uh, cases will be uh, lodged against the culprits who were who were part of the assault. Uh, they will be lodged under the Pakistani law, under the anti-terrorism law. And also in some cases, there will be an army act law also implemented and to add on to that or the core commanders conference has also said that some cases will also be added into the official secret act that is that means that it is not only terrorism it is also being related to spying and espionage as well uh, okay. they also said that uh, the the, a foreign sponsored campaign and which was instigated locally was done only to with an aim to actually create a breach between the people and the establishment of the army itself and they said that this this will not be allowed to happen again and they also urged uh, that uh, a consensus should be developed as far as the situation in the country is concerned however however those people give, who were part given this fight that's happening and it's an all-out fight because Imran Khan wants his supporters to continue with their agitation to continue with their protests 